Hello, 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 everyone. Today is June 25th, 2020. My birthday. Yes, it is my birthday. The only thing about that is, is that on CNN all day, all day they've been speaking of the numbers. How in a few states, California, Texas, there's another one. I think it's Arizona. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. But definitely in Texas, how the rates are going up, the uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 rates are definitely going up because I think Texas was one of the, oh, Florida, California, Florida, and Texas. Texas was one of the last one, last states, not ones, last states to, oh shoot, I gotta go get my car wash. One of the last states to actually close the borders and one of the first states to open up. Well, the actual um, numbers are really bad. Okay, so let's go over the numbers real quick because I forgot I have to um, go get my car wash. Okay, so here it is. Here are the numbers. So, whoa, wait a minute. Wow. Okay, so in the United States, there's two point, almost 2.5 million people confirmed. Now, what I heard are the numbers are maybe 10 times that. So instead of 2 million, allegedly, there may be 20 million people affected with the virus. And of course, uh, Trump was saying, oh, you know, stop the virus, stop the testing or whatever. I think he was kidding. I honestly think he was kidding because you would really have to be a fool in order to say that to the masses when your country is being banned by other countries all over the world, second, third, fourth, and first countries, world countries, because our rates are so high. That being said, so I don't even know if these numbers, and I think these numbers are from the C CDC. So 764,000 people have recovered. And as of today, 126,000 people in the U.S. are dead. Last night, 688 people died. Which is better than before, but look at this chart. Look at this chart. You see how the number is going up on the graph? Not down, not down, up. And this is what everyone is worried about. Because now the rates are increasing again amongst the states, I think, except for New York. And that's a good indication for New York only because remember New York was a hot spot like they had you know seven to eight hundred people in the state of New York not New York City die in one day now right now we have 688 people die in one night they had it in for one state that's in the entire country 688 people in one the country was all 50 states. Now it's, you know, New York, the numbers are low. They're decreasing. Um, but as far as California, ooh, sorry, as far as California, Georgia, no, California, Florida, and trying to do it by the states um california florida sorry i hate when people per capita covid per capita let me see let me see if we can get a nope 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 no nope. i'm trying to see if we can get a state deaths per capita per day No, there's not a graph for that. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, there, I'm sure there is a graph, but I, I, I obviously I can't look at it. Okay. Boo, 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 data tracker. Let's see. See COVID data tracker by county. Let me see. I'm just trying to see if I can get a graph. I anyway. So the problem is, is that they don't know if they're going to have to close the states again or go to, you know, phases as to where, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. Total cases by state territory. New York City, they have, oh, this is by the day. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at this tracker, this right here. Okay. And this is, this is out of date because it's 122,000. Okay. Well, anyway, um, what's going to happen? You know, Texas, you know, Texas is about their money. And, you know, they can't stand to lose any more money, but yet people are dying. Um, as far as California, the two highest counties with the most deaths is L.A. County. Remember, I told you guys, Southern California, I don't know what's going on down there. I don't know if the beach is that important. I don't know if it was the protesting, but before the protesting, they flocked, they were flocking to beaches like it was the thing to do. And still, today is my birthday, and I'm, I, I don't want to go anywhere. Literally. I mean, on my birthday, you know, I mean, I may go to eat or something, but, you know, take out, take some pictures, but I'm not trying to be out at a beach or whatever because the rates are going higher. So in L.A. County, they have the highest in California. I told you they were leading. And up here in Northern California, it's Alameda County. It used to be the county that I reside in, which is Santa Clara County. They were leading far beyond before anyone else. But it was I don't think that they were leading in, in, in cases. I think we had um, more opportunity to be tested. Like right down the street, you could get tested. I just don't want that thing up in my, my nose. And I told you, I think I had it over in November or whatever. So I probably have tons of antibodies. I think I had it twice. But anyway, um, but now that everybody, you know, is, 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 is welcome to get it to, to be tested, I think that's where the numbers are coming. And um, I think in Florida, was it Florida or is it Texas? There's a state where they are running out of rooms in ICUs, hospital. Yes. My thing is this. Okay, we have the initial scare. What were we lacking? There are two things that were, three things we were lacking. I forgot the name of them. Oh my goodness. What's the instrument that you put down? A fibrillator? No, that's for your heart. What do you think? You you know the instrument, the medical instrument that you put down so that people can breathe. I forgot. And please, I'm I'm so sorry. I, I I had a brain fart. I don't. You know what I'm talking about. Two. Protective wear. Doctors did not have enough protective wear and masses. Three. Toilet paper. But I mean, you know, toilet paper might be kind of funny, but no, it's not. It really isn't because you need to have some toilet. But the doctors now are they're getting tired. And there's one doctor who's a female doctor. I'm not exactly sure where she was. She has blonde hair, white woman, whatever. She lost not temporary custody of her daughter because the ex-husband, you know, was in fear of her, you know, giving her daughter, you know, the COVID if she caught it or whatever. But, you know, people, their lives have really been, you know, in a disastrous state. I mean, the unemployment, I think almost 2 million people, 2 million, 2 million more people have filed for unemployment. And we have so much going on. Where's the pres presidential election, the campaign 
there's no debates. I where is Biden? I mean, is he just going to campaign from his room? I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't see him. I don't hear him. There's like one commercial where, you know, he's speaking as if he's either about to go to sleep or he's forgetting that he's on a, you know, making a commercial. I don't know. I I have no idea what's going on. I really don't. But people, it's getting worse. The coronavirus, COVID-19, is spreading. And this is not even the second wave. This is still the first one. You know, we haven't touched on fall. They're saying that that's when the new the new wave is coming. We still have to get past this. My uncle, you know, wished me happy birthday. We were talking about, you know, our kids or whatever. He was like, you know, his son is going to college. I was like, are you sure? Are any colleges open now? We have to think about that, but you know what? I got to go. I got to go get my car washed, so I'll talk to you later. You guys take care. Wear your mask and be safe. Okay, bye.